Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update December 12th, 2021. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. This is episode 475 and that's the rundown. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, Love Like the Galaxy releases character posters. The Emperor's Love announces its lead cast. Yang Yang and Del Rabas fans have apparently been waging a war of words with each other. And Roy Chu and Tiffany Su tie the knot. And we'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here's what's recently premiered, just the one drama for today and the past few days. A Little Mood for Love is a modern family drama starring Zhou Xun and Huang Lei, and it premiered on December 11th. The drama follows a divorcee played by Zhou Xun, who moves to Beijing, meets a fellow divorcee played by Huang Lei, and they remarry. It is a story of two people finding love and happiness again, and the challenges they face integrating themselves and their kids into each other's lives. This is a drama that I might pick up eventually, not right now because I'm already following too many, but I have enjoyed good family dramas in the past. My favorite modern drama ever is a family one, 2019's All Is Well with Yao Chen and Ni Da Hong. With lead actors like Zhou Xun and Huang Lei, A Little Mood for Love is not gonna lack solid acting performances, all the more reason for me to check it out, unless it gets bombarded with bad reviews, but then again, I'll check it out just to see the train wreck. Unfortunately, as far as I know, the drama is only available to stream officially on Youku for now. Maybe it'll come on YouTube eventually. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, a couple of drama premiere confirmations to update you guys on. Enemy starring Guo Jingfei and Tan Zhuo has confirmed its premiere date of December 16th. And if you're into Hong Kong dramas, Flying Tiger 3 starring Michael Mew, Bosco Wong, and a bunch of other familiar faces from the Hong Kong drama scene has also confirmed a December 16th premiere. Two modern espionage and crime type dramas to look forward to if that's your thing. I'll update more on them including where to watch with English subs after they premiere. And moving on, Love Like the Galaxy has released their first character posters. Love Like the Galaxy is an upcoming costume drama starring Liu Wu and Zhao Lusi, and they released their first character posters midweek. The drama started filming in late July, that makes it over 4 months now, and I haven't heard anything about a rap yet, so I assume they're still going. Love Like the Galaxy tells the story of an intelligent young girl, played by Zhao Lusi, who plays a fool in front of her scheming aunt to protect herself. She meets the Emperor's adopted son, played by Liu Wu, and doesn't just strike up a romance with him, but also gets involved with his political assertions. The drama is based on a novel of the same name, written by the same writer who wrote the story of Minglan. In fact, just reading the synopsis and looking at the costumes, I get a very story of Minglan feel about it. The story of Minglan with Cao Liying and Feng Xiaofeng came out in 2018 and was a huge hit. So inevitably, there's a certain level of expectation for Love Like the Galaxy. Love Like the Galaxy won't be the first time Liu Wu and Zhao Lusi collaborate. They were both in The Long Ballad, which ended its run earlier this year. From one costume drama, we go to another. Here's The Emperor's Love. On December 7th, The Emperor's Love announced their lead cast of Wallace Chung and Crystal Yuan. They released these posters on their official Weibo. It's so dark you can barely see the stars, but that is by design. The drama follows a love-hate relationship between a mysterious god of war played by Wallace Chung and a wise doctor played by Crystal Yuan. Even though there aren't any official booting ceremony pictures yet, word on the Weibo sphere is that they started filming in November. Wallace Chung was last in The Sword and the Brocade, which came out earlier this year. That did pretty well on viewing charts. Crystal Yuan was in a couple of dramas this year, but her most memorable recent hit is still 2020's highly popular Love and Redemption. More updates on The Emperor's Love as they provide them. 
And that's it for drama stuff. Moving on, here's some celebrity news that caught my attention recently. Here's a December 9th WA article entitled, Yang Yang and Del Raba fans tear apart just because of one smile? Both sides fan clubs issue proposal to put out fire. So I talked about this a little bit in my last video. Here's a recap. Yang Yang and Del Raba are the stars of this summer's hit drama, You Are My Glory. Recently, both their fan clubs released statements to encourage fans to chase stars rationally. They also called on fans to reject bad behaviors such as verbal abuse, instigation, and online wars, and to maintain a civilized online environment. They didn't mention why they released the statements, and I thought it might have had something to do with the rumors floating around that the two stars had become an item. But the WA article raises another possibility. Apparently, the two sides' fans have been engaged in a bit of an online quarrel. According to the article, the spark that ignited the quarrel can be traced back to a recent episode of the variety TV show Youth Paraplus Season 3. In it, the cast were about to play a game, and each player had to assign themselves a different name. Fan Cheng Cheng, who was sitting next to Yang Yang, chose the name Del Raba. The very next shot was a reaction shot of Yang Yang with a smile. This is the smile that the article's title refers to. Now I've seen the clip, and it's just one of those reaction shots that you see all the time in variety TV shows. I actually find them quite overused, and oftentimes not representative of the moment. They just kind of lead audiences to conclusions that might or might not be truthful to the moment. Anyway, some netizens found that bit of editing amusing, others weren't so impressed. Some netizens felt that the mention of Del Raba's name was unwarranted and used that as an excuse to attack Yang Yang. Others defended Yang Yang by saying that he wasn't even the one mentioning her name. The back and forth escalated to an online war with all kinds of verbal abuse and reputation smearing from both sides. It got so ferocious that many fan accounts were muted on Weibo. It also prompted the aforementioned statement from Yang Yang and Del Raba sides urging harmony. And for the next celebrity item, some happy news to spread as Roy Chu and Tiffany Ann Su tie the knot. While there may be speculation as to whether Yang Yang and Del Raba have become a real-to-real -real couple, there's no doubt with Roy Chu and Tiffany Ann Su. The two Taiwanese actors starred in the 2021 movie Man in Love. Man in Love is a remake of a Korean movie which tells the story of a ruffian debt collector who falls in love with one of his debtor's daughter and proposes for her to go on dates with him to clear her father's debt. While I didn't watch that, I did watch the original 2014 Korean one, and that is one of my favorite Korean movies ever. Also called Man in Love, the 2014 movie stars Hwang Jung-min and Han Hye-jin. It made me laugh, clap, and cry. I loved everything about it. So if you can find a copy of Man in Love, the 2014 one, or a site that streams it, do give it a watch. At the moment, I believe it's on Amazon with English subs. Anyway, back to Tiffany and Roy. Due to the popularity of their movie and their on-screen chemistry, they were rightfully speculated to be an item. However, they never confirmed anything until recently. On December 10th, Tiffany shared this picture of the couple flashing their wedding bling, saying, I've said before that if there's good news, I will share it with everyone. The good news is, we got married. A big congrats to the couple, wishing them bliss. And before we get to the top 10 Chinese dramas of the week, a quick word on ExpressVPN. Now whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, WeTV, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus here. And on that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, Edition 102, December 12, 2021.
The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They release top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10. If Voice Has Memory, the modern drama stars Miles Wei and Pan Mei Ye. Number 9. Party Ye Who Lives Beside Me, the modern drama stars Xie Bingbing and Wang Zixuan. Number 8. Love at Night, the modern drama stars Zhang Yixi and Liu Xueyi. Number 7. Marvelous Women, the costume drama stars Jiang Qingqing and Zhang Huiwen. Number 6. Light of Love, the modern drama stars Liu Luo and Cheng Xiao. Number 5, Delicious Romance, the modern drama stars Frida Lee, Baby Zhang, and Naomi Wang. Number 4, Fall in Love, the Republican era drama stars Chen Xingxu and Zhang Jingyi. Number 3, Who is the Murderer, the modern drama stars Xiao Li Ying and Xiao Yang. Number 2, The Psychologist, the modern drama stars Yang Zi and Jing Boran. And number 1, Luoyang, the costume drama stars Huang Xuan, Wang Yibo, and Victoria Song. Luoyang is the top web drama of the week for the first time since its premiere. It garnered 594 points. Next up, here are the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, Belief, the Republican era drama stars Edward Zhang and Nie Yuan. Number 9, The Builders, the Republican era drama stars Vivian Han and Chun Yu Shanshan. Number 8, Ebola Fighters, the modern drama stars Luo Jing and Rachel Mao. Number 7, People's Property, the modern drama stars Qing Dong and Yen Ni. Number 6, Dear Children, the retro drama stars Lennox Liu and Liam Ma. Number 5, Star of Ocean, the modern drama stars Liu Tao and Raymond Lam. Number 4, The Memory About You, the modern drama stars Emily Xu and Yang Xuwen. Number 3, Happiness is Easy, the modern drama stars Chen Jianbing and Mei Ting. Number 2, To Fly With You, the modern drama stars Lorena Song and Wang Anyu. And number 1, Novoland Pearl Eclipse, the costume drama stars Yang Mi and William Chan. Pearl Eclipse ends the week with 527 points, making it champion for a fourth week running. And that means I got a perfect score for my predictions I made on Thursday on who today's champions would be. In any case, there it is guys. Hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And before I let you guys go, I want to give big virtual hugs to Somi B. Naves and Nita Von Niravanth who recently became patrons on my Patreon. Thank you guys for your very generous support and I hope I pronounce your names correctly. And that brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!